So we're checking to see if the uh, tire shop has any more tires for us. We got the trailer hooked up. You can probably hear it uh, to the excursion and hopefully they have a few more tires for us. If not, we will check back at a later date. So let's go see if they have any more. All the neighbors corn and soybeans are coming up really tall. We uh, have a lot of corn and soybeans in this area. Some farmers grow a little bit of wheat, uh, but mainly it's corn and soybeans. Looks like there's more rain coming in. We have gotten a lot of water this year. The excursion probably needed a good washing anyway. Well, maybe picking up these tractor tires isn't going to work today. They've added in a flood warning and it's starting to get pretty heavy rain. So I really doubt we're going to be able to load these up. We're going to go by the tire place anyway and see if they have any and maybe we'll come back. Uh, maybe tomorrow or something like that but i don't know that this is going to happen today they're probably not going to want to load them up when it's raining this heavy it's gotten so dark that the street lights are on and everything it's almost like nighttime There's so much rain well it sounds like they've got some tires um not sure if we're going to be able to load them up because all the rain or not but we're gonna go over there and take a look at them and at least mark them up and figure out what we can take and what we are going to leave so fortunately we had a little bit of a break in the weather and uh, the guys were kind enough to get us loaded up so we've got somewhere around seven or eight of them I didn't count um, they are a little bit on the smaller side some of them are backhoe tires which are a little thicker, but a little bit uh, smaller around in diameter. But I think they were going to work for us good, uh, given what we're gonna be using them for um, in the smaller pasture size. So let's get home and get these all unloaded. Well, that rain came in fast and it actually moved out really quickly, which is good. So we've got, I think we counted up, there are nine of these. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine yeah so we got nine of these tires it's super wet so i'm not even gonna get out in the field i'm not even gonna worry about placing them uh halfway close to where i want them so when we extended this dam a couple years ago i actually ran a pipe underneath it so there is an irrigation line that runs underneath the dam and goes down below this. So we're gonna drop a tire down there and then uh, we're gonna just dot the tires throughout the field. The uh, guys at the tire shop said that it's probably gonna be a couple weeks or month, if not more, before they get, an, get me another load. But if we end up working on the water system before then, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. Uh, if it does, then I'm just gonna run the water lines and we'll tee off where the trough is gonna go and then I'll add that tire to it later. later. So um, let's get these unloaded and uh, get them out in the field. I think we're gonna take one of these backhoe tires and drop that below the dam. They're a little bit taller and I think they're gonna hold a little bit more volume. And the one that's gonna go behind the dam that's probably gonna get used a little bit more than the ones that are dotted out in the field. Plan is for that tire to go a little bit farther down, but I don't wanna push it too far down because we need to brush hog that before I set that trough up.
That one had the inner tube still in it. We'll have to get rid of that. I don't have any cubes for you, girl. You're gonna have to go without for today. All right, so that puts us up to 16 tires. Um, I think I need probably somewhere around 10 more, uh, give or take. I need to map this out and figure out how many pastures I want to do and then figure out how many tires we need for the troughs at that point. But I think I need somewhere around 10. Like I said, the tire uh, place said that they are good. It's going to be probably somewhere around two weeks to a month before they get me another load. Um, but I have plenty of things to do beforehand. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't already to follow our journey of raising the North American bison or buffalo, check out our merchandise page on our website. It's brokenarrowbison.net. My name is Noah Gordon. We are Broken Arrow Bison and we will see you next time. What a muddy mess.